welcome to sports palace if you are new to this channel make sure you like comment and subscribe uh, yesterday we witnessed a, a solid game between france and morocco one of the top top games that we saw in the semi-finals of the 2022 world cup ongoing in qatar and um france were winners of that particular match by two goals to nil over morocco morocco conceding their third goal of the tournament um following just a one goal conceded in the group stage so which means that Yesterday was the first time they considered more than a goal in the World Cup. But having said that, this is a team that actually, I mean, have been very, very solid and then making history, becoming the first African team to qualify for the semi-finals of the World Cup. Very, very impressive. And on Saturday, they will be locking horns at the Khalifa Stadium with um, Croatia for the third and fourth place, uh, 3, uh, 3 p.m., GMT exactly and then on Sunday France will be hosting Argentina but France making it a back-to-back -back, um, final qualification remember they were winners of the 2018 edition in France uh, in Russia and now they are at the finals with Argentina for Argentina 2014 they were in the finals in Brazil with Germany but they couldn't win that particular final game where Germany beat them and won the trophy so they are they found themselves in the finals for the second time in the past three editions of the world cup whereas france found themselves second time at the world cup in the past two editions so it tells clearly that um this um two teams have got whatever it plays for to actually put out something solid behind them and i'm looking at the fact that kylian mbappe and leo and Leo messi are the top two joint scorers now because uh, kylian mbappe has got five goals uh, Messi has also got five goals as well. Um, there is Giroud with four goals. Julian Alvarez also got four goals as well. So the two teams, uh, the two teams have got two top players and four players, two each from each side. I mean, um, gunning for the Go, Go King uh, uh, trophy for that particular tournament. It's going to be another interesting one at the Lucial Iconic Stadium on Sunday, where everyone is going to witness greatness. Those who are from Cristiano Ronaldo's come talking about the GOAT and also from Messi's come talking about the GOAT. I think the debate could be settled on Sunday provided Argentina are able to win the World Cup because, I mean, a lot of people are talking about the fact that Portugal couldn't go, uh, couldn't go far at the World Cup where they were eliminated in the quarterfinals by Morocco and then Argentina have been able to make it through to the final. So whoever wins it, um, will be a huge debate between the two I mean fans of these two players and then looking at the fact that they are age as well Messi is 35 years old now Ronaldo is 27 years old for the next World Cup in the next four years Messi is gonna be 39 years Ronaldo is gonna be 41 years who knows and how things gonna pan out um, we don't really know but it is likely that the two of them could would not make it for uh, the the next World Cup in Mexico USA and Canada depending on the managerial structure and the redevelopment of these two teams and how I mean things will pan out in the uh, coming years but that will actually end the debate and that will actually make a lot of people I mean um, maybe maybe forget about who is the good debate and maybe for Ronaldo fans maybe saying okay fine we've considered defeat and the World Cup but but hey Ronaldo is still the GOAT or Messi fans will say Messi is the GOAT because he's been able to win I mean the World Cup and Ronaldo has not been able to win so it's going to be very very interesting on Sunday at the Lucial Stadium where these two teams actually lock horns uh, at the World Cup final stage if you are new to this channel make sure you like comment and subscribe and tell me who do you think will win this final World Cup match is it going to be France or Argentina or Messi will stand out or Mbappe will be the best and remember whoever gonna win this World Cup will go a long way to influence who wins the FIFA best award and also the Ballon d'Or as well so um there are a lot more to actually look out for on Sunday as France lock horns with Argentina in the final of the 2022 World Cup at Lucia Stadium